Exotics fans, Maddox here, and we have some exciting news today here at Exotic Idiotics. We rescued an adult bearded dragon from a family who couldn't take care of him anymore, and we got some awesome new invertebrates, new tarantula for a scorpion, and we're going to be showing you all that in this video right now. <laughs> All right, so this is the state of this enclosure right now. So as you can see, it's uh, it's in pretty bad shape and we are going to clean it out today because it kind of smells. And, um, but here we can get a nice, good close up of him. Big old boy. Yeah, nice, big, fat. He's a little dark right now. He's probably a little irritated, doesn't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna start cleaning this out. I know you guys don't wanna really watch all that, so we're gonna set this up and we're gonna speed up the process a little bit, but uh, let's get started. What's up guys, so I'm Jeff, I'm Maddox's dad, I'm also the other half of Exotic Idiotics. Um, but we wanted to give you guys a, just a heads up about what happens when you have reptiles and you don't handle them very frequently. Um, I was getting ready to pull this guy out so that we could try to clean up this cage and you can see he is just very irritated, doesn't wanna be touched. Look at this, yeah, I'm a little nervous to pull him out. I've never been bit by a bearded dragon and I don't typically think that they bite. I'm sure this is really just a threatening display. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get him out of here to, to, to really clean this cage out. So um, yeah, we're, that's, that's what we're gonna Okay, so I've got the water dishes out, got the food dish out, got all the decorations out. Uh, next thing is uh, I gotta try to get him out. And um, <clears throat> I need to get something to probably put him in because what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna take him upstairs and we're gonna put him in a nice bath to uh, really try to get him cleaned off. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Let me go get something to put him in and then uh, we'll get going. All right, so I've got this plastic box I'm gonna put in here and I'm gonna kinda do this the way that I do with uh, you know tarantulas where I don't really stick my hand in there and try to grab them, but I kinda just try to get them to wanna go where I want them to go, see if I can get them in this box and kinda scoop him up Come here, buddy. All right, get your head back. There you go. And see, now that you've got him out there, he's pretty calm now. That was a way less stressful than trying to actually just pick him up off the ground uh, by hand. And it's a lot, it's a lot safer for me if he did want to try to bite. He was acting a little aggressive and it was a lot better for him because he's a lot calmer now that way. Now, you know, he didn't get grabbed. He doesn't have a predator coming at him from above. He looks a lot calmer already being out of that cage. So let's go get him up in the bath. Cool, let's go. Look how much calmer he is already. He is doing Come here. really good. Come on. He didn't like it in there, did he? No. You blame him? No. All right, cool. So you can see he's calmed down quite a bit. Um, there you go. Oh, yeah. And that kind of freaked him out, you know? He may have never actually been in a bathtub before. <laughs> I mean, it's possible that they never really bathed him, um, but I'm assuming if he was sitting in that cage and it was smelling the way it was, he probably smells a little bit too. So we're gonna go ahead and let him get some water on him. We just put a little bit of just some basic dial soap in here. See if he's dehydrated a little bit. Get some water, he might drink a little, but he'll be good. And he looks just way calmer all around right now. I said, oh, of course I'm gonna say that and then he's gonna bite my hand or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna leave him in here because he can't get out of here. We're gonna let him chill for a little bit. Looks like he doesn't really like the water too much. So trying to get to where it's a little more shallow, but we're gonna let him chill in here for a little bit while I go get the cage kind of cleaned out. And um, hopefully not too long because you don't want the water to start getting cold. And um, then we'll come back and get him. All right, so we've got a water dish, food dish, got a substrate all changed out. I don't really like the whole tiles thing. I think in theory it's great because they hold heat and if you take them out and you clean them, 
and replace them with new ones. It makes it really easy to keep the cage clean. However, those were just really dirty and I was just not in the mood to clean those. So maybe we'll go back to tiles eventually, but for now, this is what happened. This is literally just kind of got brought to us today um, and we were somewhat prepared, but we didn't have like everything. So the enclosure will get some more stuff in it, but for now, this is still gonna be way better for him. It's clean and uh, we'll get him some fresh water and let's go grab him out of the bath and bring him back down. All right, cool, you can see how much calmer he is. He's actually sleeping right now. <laughs> and uh, I was chilling in the bathroom. Oh, his eyes are awake. So we are going to try, okay, he feels like he might jump. He's a little, a little scared. Um, Understandably. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to put him up here, let him just chill on my chest, try to make him feel safe, and uh, try to go back to sleep. All right, look at you. Yeah, he's looking nice, looking good right now. Oh yeah, he's going back to sleep, nice and calm. So yeah, I'm just kind of cradling him like a baby. <laughs> I'm walking real slow because I don't want him to like freak out and try to run and bite me, whip me, scratch me. <laughs> All the above. Scare me, make me drop him or anything. I want to keep him as safe as possible. Probably should have put him back in the container, but he was like sleeping and he seemed so chill and calm. And uh, I really do want to make this guy super nice and tame eventually. No, he's not as scared. Cool, now we got him in his new enclosure. Get the lid on, get his lights all set back up. I got a heat mat going under his hide so he can go in there and kind of warm back up for the bath. And uh, yeah, so cool. One thing down, now let's move on to the tarantula and the scorpion. All right, first up, this is the new tarantula. This is Vicularia, Vicularia. We'd been looking for one of these for a while and we were having trouble finding one. But uh, yeah, we just happened to find somebody local that had one. And you can see she's just gorgeous pink toes. This is the common pink toe tarantula, Guyana pink toe tarantula. You can see she's got these awesome pink feet. Got a really cool pattern on her abdomen. Just a gorgeous specimen. And I'm gonna try to get some pictures of her. Okay, so we got her into the enclosure. Um, yeah, she 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 kind of went nuts on Maddox and uh, bolted away and kind of freaked him out a little bit. But uh, it's cool. Then I got her and she ran all the way up my arm and down my back and on my head and all over the place. But here's a nice little enclosure we got set up for her. We used to have a little jumping spider in here that we caught, but um, he has since passed. They don't live very long, so we do not have him anymore. And now this is gonna be her enclosure. So there we go. And this is our new Asian forest scorpion. Figured I'd get him out of the enclosure he came in so I could try to get some good video of him before we put him into his new enclosure. And hopefully he'll hold still long enough for me to get some good uh, macro photography. All right, so we got him into his new enclosure. Got some decent footage of him, got some pretty good pictures of him. And he was kind of a pain in the ass to get back in there, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he did not uh, he did not want to go back into this enclosure Let's but go. um super stoked to have this guy this is our first scorpion so um yeah seems pretty cool a little aggressive a little squirrely but uh that's how we like them here at exotic idiotics all right guys we want to thank you for watching where we uh rescued the bearded dragon here we are this is two days later you can see how much calmer he is we're able to handle him he's doing great loving the new enclosure eating like a champ staying fat um, Maddox approached me. This used to be kind of our theater media room downstairs. And um, he asked if he could turn it into an exotics room. And I was like, yeah, dude, let's do it. Sounds good to me. Um, so uh, you can see we got our first shelf kind of set up. 
got some of our enclosures on it. It's not all of them, but it's a work in progress. And we want you guys to be a part of it. So make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos because we're gonna be transitioning this entire room down here into an exotics room over time. Um, also, I'm gonna leave a link to our Patreon in the description below. If you become a patron of our channel, you're gonna be able to vote on what animals we get next and add to the collection as well as behind the scenes content and some merchandise. Go check that out. Make sure to comment below any ideas you guys have for new enclosures, new animals, or any just insight that you've got, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>